Hello everybody, this is Cool Scratch Tutorials, and today we are going to be going over a way to animate your logo inside of Scratch. So if you have your logo, we're just going to create a very simple but very clean and cool animation for it. At the end, we're going to have something that may look like this. So, let's just get right into it. First off, what we want to do is create three different characters. I haven't actually created my logo yet, but I will do that really quickly. So, I have Scratch Can, I'm just going to use that. I'm going to call this Main 1, because it's our very first uh, main character. Then I'm going to have text at the top and at the bottom, as you saw before. So I'm going to go to Paint, and I'm going to get the text editor here, and I'm going to type out cool scratch and the bottom line will be tutorials. I'm going to change the color of it to black and I'm going to select it one more time. I'm going to bring up the size of it. I'm going to drag the middle to the very middle uh, center dot. And I'm going to change the, the font to this. Now I'm going to go to paint again, create a new sprite, and I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to label this one tutorials. You can see it's in the right color and font. So I'm just going to bring up the size a little bit and I'm putting it in the very center. So we have our three different parts. I'm going to go into the code section of main one. Let's go to when green flag clicked. And we are going to make it at 0, 0. So motion, go to 0, 0. So at the very beginning, it will stay at this place. Since it's a little big right now, I think we should make, we'll go to the look section and make it start off at set size 70%. So if we press the green flag, it'll start out just a bit smaller. Now let's go into a sprite 1. And let's just separate these really quickly so we have we can see what we're doing just a bit easier. So once we've done that, we want to just put show at the very top so it'll always show. So we want to get started on the rest of the code. Next, what we want to do is go down to the look section where we are right now and drag in clear graphics as effects as well. So this is very just uh, making sure everything is very uh, the right size, everything looks the right way at the beginning. And then I'm going to go to set effect. I'm going to drag that down here. And we are going to be using the pixelate effect. We are going to want to set this to 140. Uh, Actually, maybe 160. Next, what we want to do is go to the repeat section. It will just repeat a certain amount of code a certain amount of time. So let's go and make it repeat 20 different times. Let's go back to the look section. Again, we're going to be using this a lot for this code. And we're going to go to change size by. And we're going to also drag in change blank effect by. We want to change the change size by 5, so it will go up 100 different size increments. And for the change uh, setting, we want to go to the pixelate again, and we're going to make it negative 8. So it starts off pretty pixelated, and then it'll come back to clarity. So if we, this, it grows, you could see it was very blurry at the beginning, but it's the right size right now. Let's just drag these in place when we have, because we have the right size now. I think that's a good place for them. So let's just, we can see that it automatically updated the go to statements. So we just, we can see that's there. Let's go to when green flag clicked. And then let's do the same thing for this part. When green flag clicked, go to the go to section. We can see that both the X and Y were already set to the go to because we just moved in and it updated. So now that we've gotten these in the right position, let's continue on with this script. 
Now we want it to wait a little bit so people can read the message itself and then go back down. So I'm going to make it wait two seconds. We can see we just went to the control section and dragged in the wait block. Now what we want to do is grab this repeat section and duplicate it. I'm going to get rid of the wait two seconds on the bottom and I'm just going to drag it under the wait two seconds section here. Now we want to change uh, the size by negative five so it goes back smaller and we want it to get blurry as it comes back out. So let's change this to positive eight. So if we click our green flag we can see it waits two seconds and then it goes back to being blurry. Perfect. We basically got a lot of this down here and we just want it to hide once it's done so it's just not this blurry mess. So let's go here and press the hide section. Oh, under the repeat section. So we've got a very basic thing down for this area and now we just want to work on the text. For the text that's going to be using a message once this goes to this section right here, once it's uh, came came in and not as blurry, here I'll pause it at the section, right here, that's when we want the text to come in. So let's go to our very first text box and let's put hide at the beginning. The only way to do this is to broadcast messages so both all of these characters can communicate with each other about when to come in. So let's go to events here and let's drag in the broadcast message one. Put it above the wait block and then we're going to go into this part here and drag in when I receive message one. So it just communicated with each other. When I receive message one, we want it to show, of course. So let's drag in show. Let's say I want it to have sort of a popping effect. So before we show it, we want to set size to maybe 150%. And then after that, we are going to want to set it to regular. So it comes in. We can see it was very, very quick and we couldn't see it that well. So what we want to do is drag in a wait statement. Let's make it wait 0 0.05 seconds. We can see that it was big and then it went back really quickly. That's perfect, and that's what that's what we that's what is what we want to happen. <laughs> okay, so now that we've gotten this area done here, we are going to want to mirror the same exact code, but for this area. So let's click on our very first sprite, and we can bring open our backpack here. Let's drag it into our backpack, and we can see the code popped up right here. And let's close it, and then let's go and click on our second sprite open up our backpack, and then we can just drag it in. We can see it's the code just transferred and we still have the code in this area. It just duplicated it and made it able for us to just copy and paste it really easily. But I want this area to come in just a bit later than this area. So what we want to do is go back to our main here and we're going to want to broadcast another message. So I'm going to go to broadcast message and click on new message. Let's call this message two and click OK. We're going to want it to wait one second before it comes in so it doesn't come in right away and then everything disappears. So wait one second and then it'll broadcast that message and then we want it to wait another second so it'll still be the full two seconds that we're waiting. So let's go back into this air code here and let's change this to message two. So if we click the green flag, we can see that it still popped, but we never actually hid the code. So we want to go to hide for when green flag clicked. So this comes in, that pops, that pops, and then just scratch cat disappears. That's a problem. So we want to say when this, when scratch cat disappears, we want our title text to disappear as well. Easy way to do this is to use messages again. So. Under our second wait statement, we are going to want to make another message. We're going to call this message disappear. So it will wait one second, just broadcast the message. Then we are going to want to go to our text sprites and drag in when I receive disappear. 
we can select it here and it's the right code. When our receive disappear, we want it to shrink. As we could tell, we want it to go to very, we want it to go to 0% size <clears throat> and we made it grow by 5%. And we want to make it decrease by 5 each time. And to do that, uh, 20 times 5 is 100, which would be the entire size. So let's make it a repeat statement that is 20 long. And we are going to go to <coughs> the change size by block and then change size by negative 5. And then we also want to go to change effect by change it to pixelate negative 8. And then after we do this, we want it to hide. So if we click the green flag, we can see that the code that we did all disappears with Scratch Cat. So let's utilize the backpack again. Let's just drag it in. You can see it still is here, but it's in our backpack. Go to our second sprite and then just drag the same code in. We don't need to change anything here. So I click the green flag that appears, that appears, and then they all disappear. Perfect. Now, just to add a little bit of flavor and just to make it look better and feel better, we are going to want to add a sound section. So let's go to sounds and the sounds we are going to want to do is go to choose a sound and let's go to effects. What we want to use is, see if I can find it. We want to use high whoosh. So just click it once and we can see it appears on our sound bar. The next thing we want to do is choose one more sound for the disappearing. This one, I think it's called magic, magic spell. And let's just click it so we have <clears throat> our two different sounds that we selected. So the first message that we do is when the first text comes in. So I think that's when we should play our sound. So we should play the sound until done, only for this one. Play sound, woo, high whoosh, until done. Then we want to do the very same thing for under broadcast message 2, because that's when the second text comes in. Next, we want to set start sound. It's different from play sound until done. We want to start sound under disappear. It's very important that you use start sound, because if we use until done, then it will delay everything and then work the code. So play sound, start sound, magic spell. So if we press play, let me turn my volume up quickly. And there we go, a very nice intro. And if you want, we can go to our backdrop section really quickly. And let's just make the backdrop a very simple color. I'm gonna drag the brightness up just a bit. Let's maybe make it like a blue, like maybe a green. Bring the saturation down a little so it's a green color that's not too bright. Just gonna drag a rectangle and then we can see it's a little out of boundaries and I'm just gonna center it. There we go. So if we click play. There we go. I really hope you enjoyed this cool Scratch Tutorials video. If you learned something new, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button and check out my channel for many more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye!